Hello. Today we're going to be talking about specific speed. Um, let's go to uh, my website www.pumpfundamentals.com and uh, click on the visual glossary at the top uh, on the menu for visual glossary. Then there is a submenu that you can scroll down. Go to uh, specific speed. Here we are. And we are exactly where we want to be uh, for our topic, which is specific speed. So what is it? Specific speed is uh, a combination of three uh, numbers. The uh, speed of the impeller, the rotational speed of the impeller, the flow rate through the pump, and the head of the pump. Now, you as a designer control all these numbers. I have to say that this tutorial is not not really addressed to uh, homeowners or or people like that. It's more it's a more of use to uh, people who need uh, to select uh, an industrial type pump for a client, such as a consultant might do. And uh, this will help to uh, to select to, to better be able to quickly get to the right pump. So the actual equation num or number will derive. Uh, uh, called specific speed is going to be the rotational speed of the uh, impeller times uh, the flow rate in gallons per minute, sorry, times the square root of the flow rate divided by the head of the pump to the exponent 0.75. Yeah, it's a rather uh, curious uh, little equation, but the results are uh, very interesting and uh, you're going to see uh, very useful. So you as the designer know what the speed of the impeller is going to be because you're going to select the motor. It typically might be 1800 RPM or maybe even 3600 RPM. And then you know the flow rate because you're designing the system and you know the head because you did some calculations that will tell you approximately what head you need to get the uh, uh, the result that you're looking for. So the uh, choices of pumps that are available typically in uh, for industrial applications range from uh, what's called a radial style pump to a going through a mixed flow style pump all the way to a, an actual flow pump. So what we're seeing in this diagram is a cutaway section of an impeller and you can see here this would be the eye of the impeller and here are the the veins and the liquid is going through the eye and being um, rotated and uh, uh, basically shot out uh, through the uh, impeller passages uh, into the casing of the pump and so this would be the axis of the pump shaft so we have these different very different looking types of impeller depending on what result we uh, we need or what kind of head and flow that we need though the radial vein pumps are characterized by a uh, fairly narrow impeller and a uh, narrow compared to the diameter which is quite a bit larger so these types of pumps will produce uh, quite a bit of head but not so much uh, flow. Uh, we go through the Vances, Fra Fa Vances, Francis Fane area, mixed flow area, and the opposite end of the spectrum is the axial flow area. So these pumps in the axial flow area are more what would be almost uh, could be considered a propeller type pump, and these pumps are um, are good for transferring large amounts of flow at low head. Where do you see these kinds of pumps? Well. Uh, Sometimes you would have them in, um, used in irrigation where uh, uh, large volumes of water need to be taken over a berm and uh, transferred maybe to another ditch or whatever. Or uh, also in uh, large pool complexes where uh, large volumes of water have to be treated but they only require low head. So in between actual flow and radial flow, there is this mixed flow area, which is the in-between uh, position. So we would have medium flow rates and medium heads. What does this uh, these uh, diagrams at the top show us? Well, this whole thing is called the Balji diagram, and I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. Uh, it's probably close enough. So each one of these styles of pumps has a typical set of curves for efficiency, head, and power. 
and the radial vein area which is our typical pumps that we normally see in industry the typical smaller centrifugal type pumps uh, the efficiency rises uh, until we get to a point called the best efficiency point or BEP and and decreases as the flow increases the head starts at high and decreases as flow uh, increases and the power starts low and increases as flow increases in the mixed uh, flow area we have a similar set of curves they're a little bit skewed to the right but as we get to the um, actual flow pumps you can see the curves are quite a bit different the head starts high but decreases very rapidly and then and the power here this is what's a little bit special the power is very high at low flow and decreases uh, as we get to the operating point so what does this tell us about how we could we should start these pumps well you could see that it would be preferable to start this pump, an actual flow pump, with a discharge valve open because that would mean that right away we'd have a lot of flow and the power wouldn't be too high. If we had the discharge valve closed, this is where we'd have maximum uh, requirement of power and we might trip out the motor depending on the size that we selected. And the reverse is true for a radial type pump where we should start this pump with the discharge valve closed here and this would result in minimum power being used and as we open the um, discharge valve we would the power would ramp up to its operating uh, requirement gradually and uh, we wouldn't uh, risk uh, overloading the motor so this is a uh, specific speed in a nutshell use it to, to uh, help you select uh, the right pump for the job and uh, you're going to see this is going to make life uh, quite a bit uh, easier. There's uh, another interesting number called um, suction specific speed, but I'm going to leave this topic for today. And if you want, you can take a look and see uh, see what that's all about. That's also uh, quite a useful number and uh, could predict uh, whether a pump is going to operate uh, uh, properly or not. All right, so uh, take care and bye for now. According to a chemist, why is the world so diverse? Because it's made up of all kinds of people. <laughs> all kinds, all kinds, yeah, 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 well, you yeah. know.